Welcome to Tejas Academy classes. So we are going to start with a static GK series based on the uh, daily current affairs. So basing on, basing on our current issues that are happening, we would like to make a GK static series for it. So that will be very helpful for your uh, examinations. Okay. So let's move into the uh, today GK static series. So today the topic will be on the budget. So we know that in this February month, there is the cu the current thing that is happening is about all about the budget, the state budget as well as the national budget. So let's look into the few uh, J GK or the static points that have to be remembered by every student uh, for our examination. So firstly, the constitutional and other name. Okay, we know that every year in the month of the February, in the first week, uh, there is a culture I mean, of introducing the budget. Okay, there is a tradition of introducing the budget every year in the month of the February. So we always use the word called as budget, right? But there is no term called as a budget in our uh, constitution. Okay, in our constitution there is no budget. There is an uh, article called as 112. Okay, there is article called as 112 which speaks about annual financial statement. Okay, there is an, a term called as 100, okay, annual financial statement. So, annual financial statement is nothing but the budget. Okay, with, in other terms it is called as a budget. Annual financial statement. Annual financial statement. So, article 112 talks about annual financial statement which is nothing but the budget. But directly the word budget is not there in the constitution. We have a statement, annual financial statement and the article that is speaking about the annual financial statement is 112, article number 112 that you have to definitely remember, okay. That is about annual financial statement. Next. So it is a statement of receipts and expenditure of the government in the financial. So what is actually present? Because you know, the government will have two functions. Government is going to receive, those are called as receipts. You know, how the government is going to get the rupee? No? Government will get the rupee in the, from the receipts, revenue. And government will also spend this rupee in the form of expenditure. So in an annual year, what is the revenue of a government and what is the expenditure estimated okay these are what estimates okay they will estimate estim estimates of receipts and expenditure by the government for the financial year is called as a budget that is the definition for a budget in simpler terms and what is called as a financial year generally normal year january to december we have but a financial year is from 1st april to 31st march this is very important Right, financial year is from 1st April to 31st March. Next, the budget division. So, who is going to make this budget? Okay, so we know that it is a Ministry of Finance, right? Everybody know that it is a Ministry of Finance who will look after about this budget. Okay, remember in the uh, Ministry of the Finance, okay, there is a department called as Department of Economic Affairs. There is a department called as Department of Economic Affairs. In the Ministry of Finance, there is a department called as Department Economic Affairs and there is a division called as the Budget Division. So this Budget Division of the Department of Economic Affairs is going to prepare this budget. Okay? This is responsible for preparing the budget. Next. So let's go back into the British era. Okay. So, when was like first budget in the introduced for India's, okay. India's first budget, okay, India's first budget, okay, that is in the pre-independence, not in the post-independence, in the pre-independence, it is introduced on April 7th, 1860. Remember, it is on April 7th, 1860, pre-independent India's first budget was introduced in April, on April 7th, 1860. Okay, when a Scottish economist and politician James Wilson of the East India Company presented it to the British Crown. So, who submitted this under it is James Wilson of the East India Company, he presented it to the British Crown. Okay, in the year 1860, in the year 1860, the first India's pre independent budget was introduced. Next, independent India. So, in the India's independent, 
it is the first finance minister shanmugam shetty okay he presented the first budget of independent india on 26 november 1947 okay shanmugam shetty he has introduced the first independent india's budget in 1947 and november 26 okay next merger of rail budget and the union budget see before 2017 before 2017 there is a separate budget for the railway and for the general finances there is another budget general finance ki separate ga railways ki separate ga rendu budget ni introduce chese var but what happened in the 2017 a, a decision has taken by the government to merge both this now gen railway budget and other finances all put together it is now single budget in the mundu ela undedi 2017 kante mundu separate railway budget introduce chese vallu separate general finance budget and separate railway budget undindi but what happened it was merged okay but remember first time 1924 right in the year 1924 there is a committee called as accord committee and in 1924 at a whose period it is time it is time during the british so accord committee recommendation prakaram okay general budget ni railway budget ni separate chesar first separate chesar so appu separate chesina atuvanti budget 2017 varaku separate uh, separate gaane untundi from 1924 to 2017 in 2017 there is a march there is a march so almost 92 years 92 years there is a separate budget for the general as well as railway okay mark 2017 lo a committee recommendations me the railway budget ni general finances budget ni kalpe sarandi it is vivek debroy committee recommendation is vivek debroy committee recommendation he is a member of niti ayog his committee is formed somewhere in 2015 and 16 and his committee recommended that there is no necessity for a separate railway railway budget so on his recommendations okay there is an amalgamation of railway budget with the general budget so this is we have to remember regarding the budget very important next so change in the date of presentation okay so generally uh, from the year 2017 okay budget has been started to be presented on the 1st february following the changes ante arun jetli finance minister ga unnapudu generally last week of february ala introduce chese vallu budget kani first first okay first week lo ni introduce chese decision ever time lo teeskunnarante it is arun jetli as a finance minister okay for the first time in 2017 they have taken a decision to present the budget on 1st february okay so that is a new tradition again last uh, of i mean uh, last week of february nunchi first week loke vachesindi anamata so that decision was also have taken next most number of budget presented by most number of budgets presented by so we know that the former prime minister murari desai okay maraji they say holds a record of presenting the budget most number of times he presented 10 budgets he presented how many budgets 10 budgets so 10 budgets has been presented by this maraji they say remember next longest budget speech in the year 2021 okay nirmala sitaraman as a finance minister she spoke for around 2 hours 42 minutes okay the longest budget speech in uh, parliament was spoken by nirmala sita raman as a finance minister during the budget period of 2020 2021 and this year it is 87 minutes okay in 2019 sita raman became the second woman to have presented the budget after indira gandhi okay she has become the finance minister and she holded the second uh, woman to be the finance minister and presented the budget after the indira gandhi okay and indira gandhi presented the budget for the financial year 1970 and 
Next. Even the former Prime Minister, the first Prime Minister of Independent India, Jawaharlal Nehru, he being the Prime Minister, presented the budget of the financial year 1958 to 59. Okay, he being the uh, Prime Minister, okay, Prime Minister submitted the budget, presented the budget 1958 and 59. Okay. Next, paperless budget. Okay, the next, the other innovative and very, very digital idea is that to introduce the budget paperless. So, they went for paperless budget, right. So, for the first time again in independent history, the budget for the financial year 2021-2022 was paperless, no? environmental friendly, eco friendly, okay, eco friendly budget in fact, it is paperless. Since then, we are try, uh, the finance minister is introducing the budget using a digital device rather than a paper, okay. So, eco friendly budget you can say. Okay. So, these are the few static GK that are important for the examination in point of budget. Thank you.